Hey, what's up? This is the NLA Ninja with Rampant Design Tools. In this edition of Running Rampant, I will show you how to use Studio Bokeh. Studio Bokeh is a collection of 90 QuickTime Bokeh effects that you could drop on any video to enhance the quality. Available in 2K, 4K, and 5K via immediate download or USB 3.0 drive, these clips are multi-purpose effects that can work on any project. As with the other products, they work in all popular editing and compositing softwares such as Premiere Pro, After Effects, Final Cut Pro, Motion, Avid Media Composer, and more. Today, I'll show you two examples of how Studio Bokeh can be used for your videos. For these examples, I'll be using Adobe Premiere Pro. For my first example, I will break down how to use Studio Bokeh with FX Factory's Random Crop plugin along with some text to create an interesting composite. For my second example, I'll show you how to create a broadcast overlay for a fake TV show using bokeh, titles, and transitions. Without further ado, let's run Rampant. This effect is a combination of FX Factory Pro's random crop filter on two videos and two instances of Studio Bokeh along some titles working together to get this composite. One thing to note about achieving this effect is that Random Crop is a Mac only plugin. So if you are a PC user, you will need to create shapes like these using a plugin like Simple Mask from Creative Impatience or creating a mat in After Effects and using the track mat key to get these shapes. Using two stock footage clips, I applied the Random Crop filter to each. For the clip on track 1, I used a horizontal bars preset and modified the parameters to taste. For the clip on track 2, I used a preset of vertical bars so that they would contrast one another, and I also changed the blend mode to screen so you could see them simultaneously. Next, I added Bokeh Eclipse 022 and 063 above them. I used the Add Blend Mode on Clip 63 and scaled it to about 75% with an opacity of about 50%. For Clip 022, I used the Screen Blend Mode and brought the opacity down to 65% and also added a color balance HLS filter to manipulate the color. I added some moving text by using the title tool and came to this result. This is a cool effect that can work for fashion shows and other similar video projects. You can use more than two clips to achieve this effect if you want. Let me show you how to create a broadcast overlay with Bokeh Clips and the Title Tool. This is an effect you've probably seen in between the commercial segments of your favorite TV shows. You see a clip of other programming with the name of it on the side along with the day and time it'll be on. I'm going to show you how to create this quickly using Studio Bokeh Clips, Titles, and Transitions. In my starter timeline, I have a clip of a woman turning towards the camera holding a shopping bag. For the sake of this tutorial, let's call our fake show Shopping with Tina. I will place Bokeh Clip 01 on track 2.
Let's trim the length of this so it matches the length of our video clip. With it selected, let's twirl down the motion parameter in the effects control panel, as well as the opacity. Let's adjust the scale to 50%. Next, I'll add the crop filter. Let's crop this 86% on the left side. I'm going to go to the project panel and I'm going to add Bokeh Clip 005 on track 3. Let's trim it so the duration matches the length of our video clip. With it selected, go into the effects control panel, twirl down the motion parameter, Let's scale this down from 100 to 55. Now, I don't want to crop this because I want to highlight the bokeh on the left side of it, so let's move it to the right until it syncs up with our other bokeh clip. I will twirl down the opacity parameter and change the blend mode from normal to add. Inside the timeline, I'm going to option drag another instance on a track 4. With the clip selected on track 4, I'm going to move it slightly towards the right. On this clip, I'm going to apply the crop filter and crop to the left, so let's go to the effects browser, type in crop once again and apply the crop filter on this clip. Let's trim it down on the left side, like we said, 70%. Now, let's start creating our titles. First, I'm going to go to the project panel, right-click on the new item button, and create a title. Let's name this White Overlay. Inside the title tool, I'll draw a rectangle the size of the bokeh bar we've just created. So select the rectangle tool and draw a bar. Let's lower the opacity down to about 20%. I'm going to exit the title tool and place this above our bokeh clips. Let's extend the length so it matches the length of our video clip. Select the white overlay layer, go to the effects control panel, and type in Phoenician Blinds. Let's double click to apply the transition effect to our layer. I will set the transition completion to 65. I'm going to change the direction to 49 degrees. Leave the width at 20 degrees. Let's go back to the title tool and create our show title. So let's go to the project panel, right click on the new item button, and select title. Let's name this Shopping with Tina. With the type tool, I'm going to type in Shopping with Tina. Now, I'm going to change the font from what it's currently at to a different font called Babus New, but for your overlay, you can use any font you want. Let's rotate this 270 degrees. and place it in the center of our bar. Let's scale it up so it takes up a little more real estate.
With the text selected, let's add a drop shadow and modify it to taste. Once you've done that, exit the title tool and place it on the track above all your other things. Next, we need to specify what day and time the show is going to be on, so I'm going to head back to the title tool again and create two white rectangles with different sizes. So let's go to New Item, select Title, and call this Day and Time. With the Rectangle tool, draw two rectangles with differing sizes. In the first rectangle, let's type in Mondays using a font with a black color. In the second rectangle, type in a time in a font with the color of your choice. Before you exit the title tool, make any adjustments and changes to the rectangles and the fonts and the colors that you need to. Once you've done that, exit the title tool and place it on track 2. We're going to play with this a little more down the line, so we're just going to leave it at the current length it is right now. Let's go into the title tool one last time to create a border for our bokeh bar. So I'm going to go to New Item and select Title. Let's name this Border. I'll draw a rectangle the size of the bokeh bar we made earlier, but change a few parameters. So I'm going to grab the Rectangle tool and draw another rectangular bar. I'm going to change the graphic type from its current rectangle to Open Bezier. Let's change the line width from 5 to 9. I'll change the fill type from Solid to Linear Gradient. Here, choose two colors of your choice. Once you've done that, place that above everything you've created so far. Let's trim the endpoint of the day and time layer to the one second mark. I'm going to add a slide transition to it with a duration of one second. So I'm going to go to the effects browser and type in slide. Now, I'm going to be using a Red Giant Universe plugin that's called Slide Transition. If you don't have that plugin, you can use the default slide transition that comes with Premiere Pro. Let's select our transition and let's make it one second. I'm going to click on Custom and change it from direction right to left. In your timeline, highlight the bokeh clips and the title layers. Let's go up to Clip 
Let's go to nest. And we're going to nest all these assets into their own sequence. And we're going to call this side overlay. Let's select our new nested sequence and add a drop shadow. Modify the drop shadow to taste. I'll add another slide transition to the end point of the sequence, again making it come from the left. After all that is done, you should have something that looks like this. As you can see from these examples, Studio Bokeh has a lot to offer. At first glance, it makes sense to use these as backgrounds or blended overlays, but with a touch of creativity, they could be so much more. You can learn more about this product and other products by visiting the Rampant Design Tools website here. You could also keep up with Rampant Design Tools by following them on Twitter at Rampant Design. Don't forget to like their Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash rampantmedia. I'm the NLE Ninja with NLE Ninja Effects, asking you to stay creative and run rampant. Thanks for watching.